So here we are. We find ourselves in the midst of yet again another transitional phase in our lives. It's the end of summer and the beginning of a new school year. This year the kids are going to be homeschooled and we are all so excited to take on this new chapter. This morning we decided to take the kids out on a nice morning walk and uh, go explore some of our beautiful nature that's literally right in our own backyard. We have our own personal reasons on why we wanted to take the kids back and homeschool them this year, but ultimately it comes down to what we've always been about, reclaiming the simple things in life. We set off on this adventure together and that's where we're going to stay. We want to be there for them every step of the way and spend this time growing and learning together. And we want to personally be the ones to instill those core values in them that they will carry with them through their entire lives. They're loving, they're kind, they're patient, they're funny. They're free critical thinkers with a wild imagination. We don't want the world to take that part of them away. The pressure to conform to society is immense, especially during transitional phases, such as growing up. And we want to allow them to have the space to be themselves and to learn about the world through their own eyes and their own experiences, using their minds, their hands, and their hearts. Y'all, it's a new day out here on the 41.36. Yep. Gary and I are very excited to get started on a brand new project out here, working over at our old camp life. This is uh, a little weird being over here on this side. I'm not I gonna lie. Yeah, I will say. We actually lived here with Country Road Cure for the first year and a half yep. that we lived on the 41.36 because when we first moved out here, friends, there was literally nothing. Mm -hmm. There was barely even a quad trail to get up to the property. And yeah, there was a lot of work to do. It's been a lot of stuff uh, between then and now. Yep. But today we're finally going to come back over here, give Camp Life a little bit of loving. And um, it's going to be something that's going to help us out. It's also going to be really nice to share with Country Road Cure and of course the kiddos. Yeah. So. And we're also going to be bringing the kiddos along with this and uh, showing them a little bit of the math stuff and getting them to be a little bit of hands-on homeschooling aspect right here. Yep. So it should be a good day today. Yeah, today's gonna be a good one. We're gonna see how far we can get with this. Um, it is going to be a several day process in order to get, you know, the thing completely completed. Yes. <laughs> but we gotta start with day one. And today, day one. Day one, let's do it. So Gary did quite a bit of mowing over here. It was pretty high up, but now we can actually see what we're working with. Right here in this area is where we need to put some footers. Yep. And you know what footers means? A lot of digging. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to doing. Shovel life reclaimed. Yep. So yeah. it should be it should be a good day today. Yeah. We've got to lay this out though and figure out exactly how and where and what we like want to position it exactly. Yeah. You know? We so. need to figure out where we're gonna dig. So this is gonna be a lot of back and forth. A lot of numbers. A lot of numbers. But ain't no time like the present. Let's get working. Let's do it. Good morning, kids. Good morning. You guys ready to help us out today? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Daddy, what are we doing? So, first things first, let's uh, find out where middle is. Okay. Because that's going to be the biggest determining factor of everything. Okay. I feel like. So, why don't Abraham, why don't you grab this tape measure and walk this thing over to the tree for me? Yep. Put it at the ground for me. 34 and a half feet. You can leave it right where it is, buddy. Come on over this way. Real quick, math wise. So for 30, 34 feet, six inches, if you get third, half of 30 is 15. What's half of two? Add that to it which is 17, right? So 17 feet and three inches. So we're gonna walk over here to 17 feet, find three inches, and we're gonna go like this. Whoop. We're gonna make a mark in the ground, okay? We know that this is roughly half, okay? This is, this is technically half of it, no matter what. So we're gonna try to stick something in the ground, but also make it to where, hey, this is it. Okay, so that we know is half. Okay. That gives us an idea 
of where we want to have it somewhat. Now here's the question. How close this way do we want to have it? How far back over here do we want it? And in which direction do we want it? I think where that stick is, is about as close up as you want because you do want to be able to have space over there around the fire pit, no. stargazing, etc. Correct. So I think where that stick is, is the closest to the fire pit area, personally. Personally, okay. So that's roughly half, and that's going this way, straight back. We are trying to make this square. I'm gonna just come out this far over this way on this line because we want it to be further than what it is and it's only 20 feet. But we don't want it to be right up on it e on either side. Those, Had a feeling. Those stakes seen better days. Yes, they have. This is a, the high ground, so I ain't too worried about it. That's in the ground. Okay, so then we're gonna come over here and set one over here. So all I did right now, you guys, is create a line point. What I mean by line point is this. I have something that I can go off of. Okay, now I've got a line. That's the biggest thing that you have to have in order to be like, oh, okay, this is what's going on. This is what I need. And this is where I'm going. Reason why I went bigger is because we don't want to have these intersecting where our dig spot is and having it be a nightmare for when it is time to dig. So what we're going to do is this. Grab me that tape, that orange or the yellow tape measure for me. Now we're gonna go like this. We already know where the middle is, right? Our building is 14 feet wide, okay? So what is half of 14? Seven. I need one of you guys to grab that other end of the tape measure, go over, and I need somebody over in the middle to find out how far over do we need to go to make it to where seven feet is in the middle. Just bring it over and tell me when seven feet is there. Wait, that's no. Wait, no, 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 no. Bring seven foot. Seven foot to there, you got it? Okay, so now that you have seven foot to that, now we know where it intersects to be 14 feet here, over at this end. We're gonna make another line at the end of this. That's that end. Okay, so now when I go to put in my stakes over here, I know if I have to move it one way or another. The building is 14 by 20. You can have this side be 14, this side be 20, that side be 20, that side be 14, and you can have it be obtuse like this, but it's not gonna be square. It needs to be square, especially when it comes down to foundation work. You especially, Julia, are gonna see the importance of algebra and mathematical equations. Yeah, as you can see, I'm bringing it this way, off of it, away from that corner. And that's so I can manipulate this corner to be exactly what I want. Bring this one over here to where this line is for me. Hold it right above, or right below that for me. This is where we're having multiple tape measures. You can, you can knock it out real quick. 
put it right underneath it and let it be. I wanna make sure it don't move on me. There we go. Okay. We know what that is, we know what that is. We can easily find out what this is if you know the mathematical equation, which is C to the equals the root power of A squared plus B squared. A lot of boring math later. Okay, so 20 feet over there. I'm gonna burn it right about here. We're gonna tie that one off. We'll tie this one off. Let's try to find out where square is just by pulling this number. This should be 14 this way. And we can move these. That looks like that is gonna wanna come this way, quite a bit. That looks almost square right there. That is gonna be extremely close. Someone grab me that sledgehammer and bring it over here. Nobody. That might come flying out. I'm gonna have you hold this like this. Cannot touch it, but you wanna go right above this point right here. Right there, Gary. All right, so 24, eight on this one. So now I'm gonna have you walk on over there and check. Now we gotta do it to the come other on side. Over here. This number should be the exact same. If they are not the same, then it is not square. So it's 24, two, that ain't square. That one's 24, eight, that one's 24, two. So now what we do is we're gonna grab this tape measure. Let's triple check where we have this mark and that mark. They should be 14. This is an easy way to look at it real quick. Just grab that, go over to that right where I have it marked. Nope, nope, up here. Up here where we checked. Pull it right above it. It's right there. Yeah, nope. We are off by quite a bit. Well, let's fix it. So Gary and I went ahead and re-stretched out the measuring tape. We went back and forth several times to make sure that the numbers were numbering. And once we got them correct, we went ahead and staked in the stakes again, making the string line nice and tight. And it was all set and ready to go. It's always uh, difficult to line everything out and get it all squared up. Um, this area that we're working on is not exactly level. It was made to uh, have our campers sit here and it was level enough, but it was put here with like a grade so that way the water can flow out. Um, and that is gonna be our next hurdle. Yeah, because you know, one point is higher than all the others and it all sort of flows that one way. So. Yeah. It's gonna make things a little bit interesting when it comes down to putting the footers in, but we're gonna just mark out where the footers are gonna be, start digging out that, and then I've got a tool to be able to help us out a little bit better to see exactly where all the level is and uh, make that a little easier on us.
Sweet. So sweet. Little by little, we're gonna get it there. Yep. But so what's the next step then, babe? Next step, we're gonna have to mark out exactly where these footers are gonna go and we need to dig them out. All right. So let's get it. Let's do it. Of course. So real quick wise. We know that that is that. Try to stay on that line evenly. That ballpark your share you. Thirteen foot three inches. Quadruple check. We're about center. Ah, what's going on there? All right, we're gonna take a quick lunch break. Oh, let my brain sort of rest for a little bit. Yeah. I'm literally going insane because of course there is no real like diagram that I'm going off of. <laughs> I'm sort of piecing everything together and trying to make footings be exactly where you want them to be when you're putting a building together is uh, pretty important. Yeah. You know? And I, I will say that we have the extra complicated route only because the instructions do say, of course, to pour a slab first. And we're not doing that. We're doing yeah. footers. So it makes everything a bit more complicated, but we're trying to save a buck by not doing the slab and by doing it the footer way. Correct. So by saving us money, we're aggravating, we're adding uh, aggravation. Correct. But it's all good. Let's get us something to eat really quick and then maybe we'll be refreshed to go on out there. I'm happy that the footers are at least lined out. I'm, I'm chopping it as a win, at least yeah. so far. You so know? far, everything's going together. I'm just, it's I'm just, getting really frustrated because numbers aren't numbering and I'm looking back at the blueprints and I'm trying to get it as good as I can Yeah. before we end up building it. Yeah. And if not, then we're gonna have to build it somewhat to be able to see exactly where the footings are gonna be. I'm hoping we don't have to jackhammer these things out when it's all said and done because- That would be terrible. I, I, I would lose and my I think mind. David has our jackhammer right now too. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Anyway. We're going to go, uh, I'm going to make Gary a sandwich. I think he's going to feel a whole lot better after he gets a Sammy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel like that might be a true statement there. A little hangry. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. So it just occurred to me that I don't think we've even fully explained to you guys what we're doing all these footers for. So real quickly, this is what we're building. It's a 14 by 20 metal gazebo, which actually I'm gonna throw another picture up on the screen right here. It looks awesome, right? Like I'm super excited to get this thing going, man. This was a product that was sent to us. We will be doing a full review on it later after we get it all put together. And we wanna get it as centered as possible in the footing because it looks like there's gonna be four, <laughs> four anchor bolts that we're gonna be putting into it and actually tying it to it. Yeah. 
It looks like possibly three on some and four on the others. And yeah, <laughs> the corner ones, they show that it is bigger than the middle one. We're just trying to figure it all out. And I, I think so far, like the quality of the product looks really nice inside the boxes. It looks good. Yeah, I, I this mean, has just been, it's no I reflection this, on them. It's literally our this. property. I can see why they say right here. Just pour know. a slab. <laughs> Do it on a slab well, or a patio that's already got a nice foundation point to it to where you just bolt it. And down, I will say the way. majority of people that want to set it up for themselves they will not run into the same situation that we're running into because the majority of people are going to be setting it up in their backyard where there's already concrete, you know. On a patio slab type yeah. thing or yeah. pavers or whatever it is, whatever have you, you know. Yeah, that it'd but, be a, a level surface and wouldn't have as many problems as what we're having, so. No, so yeah, it is what it is. It we is. We are uh, figuring it out and I'm glad that I've been able to refresh my body and I feel like myself a little bit. <laughs> With that Sammy and some cool that air. That Sammy and some cool air. <laughs> now my math, now my brain is able to do the math that needs to be done. So, well, and um, all this is going to do is I've got to adjust the back ends. I'm going to triple check those corner ones. I think the corner ones should be fine. I've got to adjust the middle ones and see. So hopefully those are the only two footings that I need to adjust and do it all that. <laughs> I'm ready to wield a shovel whenever you are. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just, I don't want to dig holes and stuff and then have to fill it in and move it or something. Cause it's hot outside as we've been complaining about nonstop. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know if you know this or not, but digging holes is not easy. No, I'm just especially saying. right where that is. That's a lot of rock and a lot of crap. Arkansas is full of rocks. I don't care where it is. It's not easy to dig holes out here. Anyways, that's enough Anywho. griping and explaining, not nope. necessarily complaining, but that's enough griping and explaining. Um, we're going to take another few minutes to come up with a game plan and cool off. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll be getting back out there here in just a second. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that was a nice lunch. That was a good lunch. Yep. We decided to have the kids just finish off uh, some of their schoolwork inside the house. We're gonna give them a break. It's probably like the ugliest time of the day. Mm -hmm. It's uh, probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, and we did make sure that Julia knows how uh, to do the math. Once Gary figured it out at the table, he had her come over there and work the math with her. So that was a good mm -hmm. lesson. It was a. Uh, it was good. It yeah. was a good way to have her understand how it gets and how it goes and everything else like that. Yep. Today's been a challenge with this. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And a lot of it is for the fact that the instructions don't really tell me exactly where I need to put said footings. We're just kind of winging it here. Yeah. We're just kind of winging it, but that's all right. I have full confidence that once we get it up, it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna love having it. It's gonna be all the good things. Um, it's just, you know, it's yeah. A, it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Um, so what I'm seeing that we're gonna probably wanna fix and adapt is at least the span this way. Okay. Because it's showing me that we only are gonna have like 19 by 32 inches basically off of the string. Okay. And that's both, both sides of the string. So we might wanna adjust those real quick, make it a little bit wider, but that's fine. We can just adjust our mark on the ground. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. And that way, that just gives us a little bit more meat there. And on this side, this way, we're fine because it should be giving us right about like three, almost like four inches of meat on the sides. So that's cool. So it's just that, which if we move that over a little bit, it should, we should be able to move it and center it up with the, the end ones as well. Cause yeah. That made it a you guys got that? Y'all got that? <laughs> Thankfully, it's just on a can. It's a can. All right. Well, I'm going to set you guys up. I don't want the cameras to overheat and die like they have been. So I'm going to set you guys off over here in the shade. We're going to see about getting this thing done. Check back in here in a second. So after lunch, we had a bit more mental clarity and we were able to figure out exactly where the footers were going to be. Our problem originally was that we were offsetting it from the string line and having it be inside the string line. What we needed to adjust is to make the footers be a little bit on the outside of the string line. It was a simple mistake that anybody could have made. 
but Gary definitely wasn't going to let that slide. We're going to chalk today up as a lesson that nothing is not figure outable. Everything can be figured out. You just have to take a lot of patience and go back to the drawing board a few times. You might have to scrap it all together and start back from the start. But if you don't give up, you'll get there eventually. And today was a lesson in that. At this point, the sun came out with blazing force, and Gary and I looked back at what we've done, and we decided that today was enough mental gymnastics, and tomorrow would be a better day to work those shovels and dig the holes. See you tomorrow, friends. Catch you on the next one. Later, later. <laughs>